Plan your event with the new video camera object. The new video camera object in Vectorworks Spotlight helps you plan real-world camera placement. You can define the camera by selecting the body type, lens type, the stand, and other options. You can also activate the camera's viewfinder to verify the placement of your cameras in your design. Using much of the functionality of the RenderWorks camera, you can use the video camera tool to generate rendered views of your design. You can apply camera effects, change render modes, and activate the camera in the same way you would the existing RenderWorks camera tool. The main benefit of the video camera is that you will be able to get an accurate representation of a real-world camera. This allows you to determine how many cameras you will need, where they will be placed, and what type of cameras you need. Because the video camera is symbol-based, you will be able to choose between body types, lenses, and stands to represent the actual camera. These symbols contain record data that will help you report on counts, size, and camera placement. In addition to the default content, you will be able to create your own symbols and custom content. All you need to do is create a symbol with the geometry that you want to use, and then add the record format with the necessary data. Using the camera's attached record data, Vectorworks can show you calculated field of view in both 2D and 3D views. This visual representation of the field of view will help you capture exactly what you want and ensure that your design is seen in the best way possible. In addition to the graphical field of view, you now have the ability to aim the camera. Click on the Aim Camera button and simply click where you want to aim the camera. You can even aim the camera at an existing focus point. If you need to fine-tune the view, you can adjust the pan and tilt values and even rotate the camera. Once you get the view right and activate the camera, you will see a blue box that represents the viewfinder. Another great advantage of the video camera tool is that it's linked to viewports in a variety of ways. Just like the RenderWorks camera, you can choose to link the camera to the viewport and remove the instance of the camera from the design layer. This will move the camera to the viewport. If you need to edit the camera, you can edit it through the viewport. There's also a new option to link a copy of the camera. The copy will be linked and moved to the viewport while the original camera is left on the design layer. This is beneficial if you need to see the placement of the camera in the context of your design. You can even choose to create the viewport from the camera view, but not link the camera at all. The addition of the video camera tool will make your designs more accurate and make equipment planning possible.